Hey, I'm the Brooklyn Monk, Antonio Graceffo, and I'm a PhD candidate at Shanghai University of Sport. I decided to gather all the international students and take them down to Fighters Unite Shanghai, which is the big MMA gym in Shanghai run by Coach Silas Maynard. We took them down there for open wrestling and open sparring BJJ. Now, a lot of these guys are serious athletes. A lot of them aren't. They got backgrounds from Mongolian wrestling, freestyle wrestling, all different kinds of stuff. Hey, it's not the most technical or the most professional event that I've ever participated in, but it was a lot of fun. And best of all, if you hate the Brooklyn Monk, you can watch me get punched in the eye. Wow. Hey, let's get a good photo. Another photo, quick, before we clean it. Photo. 大家好,我是安东尼,我是那个Brooklyn和生,我是上海TU学院的博士生。今天,今天我带我的六学生同学去那个CEO博机物馆,那个Fighters Rahmo Wrestling with Mongolians? I look skinny! <laughs> In both Mongolian wrestling and Chinese wrestling, there is no pummeling. This is not a typical re exercise that they would learn. So whenever I teach basic wrestling or MMA to, uh, to lay people or to, to wrestlers that come from other disciplines, we always start off by teaching them pummeling. Round one, we teach them the rhythm of pummeling. Round two, we teach them pummeling, but w with resistance. In other words, the opponent is resisting your pummeling attempts. And there's a kind of a game to try and get double underhooks. And then round three is pummeling for takedown. So, this is my very good friend. What's your name? Michael. <laughs> Tell the people who you are. Michael Fishel from North Carolina. And he's studying at Sports University and he wrestled. And so what do you think about today? Uh, it's definitely different from US, USA high school wrestling. What's different? Everyone's older and they shave? It's a lot of throwing and... Uh, and break! Yeah, just body grappling. Is high school wrestling mostly like uh, on the floor, like trying to get the game? Big on shooting uh -huh. and big on like like you don't want to get on the position to get on top of people yeah. on the way your back to is completely different. You're right. not gonna get choked in high school right? or punch. Yeah, so or elbow. giving up your back isn't a bad thing. You don't wanna be on your back. Right, right, right. It's like the opposite. Okay, so so basically what happened today was I uh, wrestled with the Mongolians. We did Mongolian slash Chinese rules, which is your knees can't touch the ground. So there's no shoot. There's no shoot. Your knees can't touch the ground. You're standing up, mostly upper body locking and throwing. You just throw and finish. There's no pin. So for Michael, that you know, that takes away like 75% of your game, right? Okay, and then uh, we were gonna do a little MMA sparring after that, but then I realized that you know these guys don't have any striking background at all, so it really wouldn't be fair to like kick them and punch them while they were wrestling. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, Michael, thank you so much, man. You we'll train again together. Yeah. Okay. Go, go. Ah, he good scale. He's the one. Wow. He's from Mongolia. Oh yeah. You want to fight him next time? Maybe next fight. Oh, next fight. Uh -huh. I saw you going to win. Okay, yeah. Hey! 